Yeah. Uh, and were you aware that was child? I wasn't 100 percent sure. So. Ryan, did you no. get Ryan? Listen, did you get pictures and videos from Telegram where it looked like underage kids were having? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I've never seen something like that ever. And I booty hole about to get destroyed. Yo, all right, what's good? Hey, shout out to Jedian. Oh, hold on. Shout out to Jedian for what he's doing, like catching these disgusting people. By the way, I just want to say he's doing a very good job and he's one of those, you know, the chosen ones, you know. Need more people like, but I just wanted to say that. Just want to just want to give a big shout out to Jedian. Jideon or Gideon, whatever his name is. I respect that. Good with y'all boys, man. Uh, it's pretty much the same old, same old. Uh, he was trying to meet a 12-year-old girl at a park. He wanted her to Kirby him, but uh, he kind of ceased communication, so now we're pulling up on him. You want to tell the people what's going on? Flaked out today because he was getting very nervous last night. Saying, oh, I need new pictures, blah, 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 so. They need a legal material to decide whether or not they're going to do an illegal thing. Right, right probably no way to get in because like that's just the entrance for the apartment complex uh, i got a package here for ryan hey ryan yeah. how's it going man gordon yeah. nice to meet you got a package here it's about julie uh some messages we should probably go over i don't want to make a scene here or like have anybody over here can we just go in and talk about it we're not here to hurt you or take anything from you i don't know who you're talking about it's not the girl that was just been messaging you on whisper but it's probably best we go over it okay can we step outside please yeah yeah what do y'all got going on here oh nothing let's have a little conversation all right. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So it is about Julie. Uh, so before anything, like, how did y'all kind of meet up and everything? Or how did y'all... I honestly don't know who you're talking about. Well, it's about some Instagram messages and all that type of stuff. I don't go on Instagram right now. You don't go to Instagram right now? No, I haven't been on Instagram in quite a while. Okay. What was your profile pic on there, if you remember? I, something to do with the Rangers, I think. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, it's the same shirt you have on. How? When did you first get Whisper? I haven't been on Whisper in close to ten years. Whisper in close yeah, to ten I, years. I like I mean, I wouldn't have this picture for no reason, right? So I'm not gonna argue with you about anything. I mean, I've no. Sent that picture to some people. Okay, you've sent that picture to a lot of people. Yeah. Okay. So do you think anybody else will like maybe like impersonate you or something? You got I, any enemies? I honestly don't know. We don't come here because we don't know. Like we came here because obviously the location said Beaumont. We tracked it to this house we just want to know kind of like has this been like a pattern or is this something that was just once in a blue moon I, again i don't know what you're talking about we're here listen ryan man really don't. we're here because we don't think you're a bad dude you know if we thought you were a bad dude we would be right down that street at the police station given working with the detectives that we work with a lot but this is kind of like our scare straight program we just like people to be real with us and we be real with them i i, I understand but mm -hmm. I'm not trying to do anything. Boy, it's trolling them right now. I'm trying to get my life back. That's what we're kind of trying to figure out because we don't know if this is like a, has been a pattern for you or if this is just a once in a blue moon thing. I'm not trying to do anything like, I don't know. I'm so was it something to... like you got caught up a little bit? Like, be honest with us, do you get a lot of action? Uh, my my ex-wife comes down every now and then to come see me. That's fair. Okay, but we all know, you know, who wants to tap sloppy seconds? You know what I mean? Like, she's probably with a pack of Rooms right now so like i get it you want to like try something new and everything and that's what we're trying to figure out man we honestly don't think you're a bad dude we just think you just made a little silly yeah. mistake and you know ryan you caught yourself there for a second when you said i would never do anything like any pause or whatever this is so i already assume what it is I've what, what seen are this kind of stuff online. what are you assuming it is that it's some kind of underage thing okay I mean, I've yeah seen this online. That, that's a step in the right direction because we've all made mistakes in life we've all just done i guess you could say stupid stuff i mean dude you could have a stack of papers talking to me about stuff i've said and stuff i've done same with him man that's what we're trying to figure out dude like we don't know how sincere this was or if this was you just being a troll or you just fucking around getting carried away I, i'm definitely not trying to see an underage girl you just wanted to talk to him I mean, that's, that's a good step in the direction. You didn't want to actually see her, but you just wanted to have, like, just a conversation with someone. That's all I would ever want online would be a conversation. Fair enough. So, obviously, the Whisper account wasn't 10 years ago. It was very recently, within the past couple months. Same with the Instagram, man. I mean, your Instagram activity, there's some this month alone, dude. You just told her last month, on uh, September 29th at 6.58 p.m., just trying to run around, trying to find a new job that I don't get kicked out of my place. Ryan, like we're just trying to figure out, is this some type of pattern that's been going on for a little bit just with the online stuff? Or is this just something you just kind of stumbled into randomly? That's what we're trying to figure out, dude. That's all. It's just something kind of random. If you hear, if you see an adult talking to a kid about their personal life, like they're an adult, that's weird. A kid ain't trying to hear that.
a kid, like, see, when you a desperate ass, sad person like this dude right here, and women, they got a lot of women like that too. Don't get it twisted. Got a lot of women like that, vice versa. Women too. When you see a weirdo doing that, talking to a kid about your personal life, that's a big red flag. Immediately block that person. Why would you complain about your life online to a, a kid that has nothing to do with that? Okay. Were there any reservations kind of about her age at all with this? Or? So I honestly don't remember what she said her age. Okay, but you remember Julie, right? Okay, that's a step in the right direction. I appreciate that. I guess you kind of answered this already. Like, like, yes, there was a reservation. There was a reservation about it. Why did you have a reservation? Because I know it's not right. You know it's not right. Yeah. What's not right about it? Someone like that doesn't know what they're doing. Okay. Was there an awareness that she was um, under 17? Uh, yes. I okay, I appreciate your honesty, like man. I, said, I don't remember exactly. What age do you, and I get it, she told you months ago, but what age do you think she told you? Like, talking seven or eight or? No. Okay, what about 10? No, I wouldn't talk to somebody. Okay, what about, what if she told you she was 12? I don't think she was. Nah, that's a little bit of a different answer than 10. I think we remember she was 12. I don't, I don't think she was, but I honestly don't remember. That's fine, I mean, either way. It was a while ago, but um, in the chat log, she did say that she was 12, and he did acknowledge her age. How common has it been for these younger ladies under 18 to just try to hit you up, try to talk to you? I think there was maybe one other one that tried to. Uh, what was her age? Like 16. 16, okay. Was she on Whisper or? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, how bad would you say the problem is on Instagram? It does seem that we've kind of over-sexualized things. Definitely. So do, so do you think with the kids being more sexualized that they're just on the internet more? Yeah. Okay. How did the conversation kind of go with Julie? So I mean, I'm a, I'm a college dropout. I don't like to read too much, but. Um, for the most part, kind of normal conversation. Okay. Was there any like uh, deviation where she tried to like flirt with you or get a little bit risque with each other? Or? Um, a little bit, but I probably also contributed to that as well. Okay, so, so it was a two-way thing. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, shit. I don't think I've ever had a chick hit on me and then just not be into it. So I, I know what you mean. Um, were there any like pictures sent from her to you or you to her? Or? Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. What would that have been? I sent her a picture of me and Ben. Okay. When we say you in bed, if I were to go through these whole chats, would I find anything that somebody might say, hey, it's a little bit inappropriate to send someone like that? Okay. What would it be? You think? Uh, it was me naked. Okay. So you sent your dick to her? Yeah. That's fine. Like, you know, how flaccid would you say it was? Like, was it fully flaccid or was it kind of loosey goosey? It was like half. A half chunk? Yeah. So was there any, was there any flirty talk like surrounding kind of those, uh, those pictures being sent to each other? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, what was kind of talked about with that? I, I think she had said that she would like to play with it or something like that. But I, I play with I it, the clown, or? <laughs> no, with my dick. Okay. And then I, I think I might have said that I would teach her how to. Okay, so you, you played into that a little bit? Yeah. Fair enough. We'll move down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is fun. hot. Was there anything talked about, like, actually seeing each other, like, supposed to hang out or anything like that? Uh, yeah. Okay, what was supposed to happen with that? She was wanting me to meet her at some point today. Okay, and where was that going to be? It was going to be one of the parks. One of the parks. And how, how were you all supposed to get there? Uh, I think we were both supposed to walk. So you don't have a car right now? Bidenomics. Yeah, absolutely. And like you were saying earlier, like, you know, kind of like you teaching her. I'm guessing you are trying to be too graphic. So like, you know, when you said I can show you how to suck on it, like a sucker, was that your way of kind of like trying to like PG it? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Okay. Like, I, I, I didn't, I don't really sit there. Fucking like nasty widow, bro. Do the widow. What I'm saying, I kind of play into. Yeah, especially when, you know, when your hormones are going and yeah. all that type of stuff. I get that. I kind of want to ask a little bit about uh, Telegram and, uh, do, do you have Signal as well or? Uh, no. No, just Telegram? Yeah. You have like Sessions or Telegard or? How did we how did we get introduced to Telegram? One of my friends around here uh, told me about it, and that's how I kind of talked to her for a while. Okay. That, that was the only other person that I talked to. Did you ever meet up with her? Uh, yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, is t so is Telegram like kind of like more of uh, individuals or groups or kind of both? 
I think it's supposed to be a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Because, you know, obviously we know you're not some malicious person or anything like that. But um, some of these messages were pretty pretty forward, I'd say. And like I said, we've all talked like that before. But I don't think something just popped up in your mind. Like, I don't think you just woke up one day and said, you know, I want to talk to somebody who's young like this or anything like that. Like, I don't think that goes through your head. But the internet, especially when we're jobless and especially when we have a lot of time on our hands, it can be a dark place. Um, has any Have any adults tried to talk to you about younger stuff before? Like, hey, I'm into this. Are you into this? Stuff like that. I feel uh, like that's definitely could have been happening. I mean, it might have happened briefly once or twice. What did they bring up to you? I think they just kind of mentioned that they were into, you know, younger girls. Younger girls? Okay. And it, it wasn't something that I really, you know, pushed forward with. Sure. What platform was that on that they did that to you? Uh, I think that was Whisper. Whisper? I think so. Okay. How did the conversation get to a point where, you know, they're saying, I'm into younger girls? Uh, I think we were just talking about, like, you know, kinks and stuff like that. Okay. And that's that's fair. Where, where they went. With that. Well, like, what was their ad they put out for you to talk to them? Or what was the ad you put out to uh, have them talk to you? Because I know, I know you all just can't talk to each other randomly, right? So, yeah. what was the ad? Uh, just talking about kinks and stuff. Okay. Is that an ad you put out or an ad they put out? I think it was one they put out. Okay. And you just kind of DM them and all that stuff. All right. When they, when they brought up young girls, I'm not saying that's something you pursued. It's obviously something you saw them talk about. Did they ever say where they kind of look at that stuff or like? No. I, I never asked. Okay. I'm not I say yes, but did they ever say like, well, hey. Right, but no, they, they never did. Okay. Anywhere else like on Instagram, has that been brought up at all? No. Well, he did say earlier that um, a couple people on Instagram would send him links. Yeah, Telegram. but it's just like the general videos that get posted on general Instagram. General videos. Stuff, stuff that you would see on TikTok as well. Also on Telegram, you know, we people can get your personal information. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And people like to do this weird thing of adding people to like group chats with like disgusting things right. in there. And, um, you know, you want to leave those group chats as soon as possible because right. it's like it's stuff that like, you know, legally and morally you just don't want to see. Right. And so we're just kind of like, you know, trying to see if maybe like, you know, while you've been on Telegram for the last couple months, has anyone added you to any like weird groups or anything <laughs> like that? Yeah. Like that. Okay. Are you sure about that? Because obviously I think at this point we can come to a conclusion like you're not making any of this stuff yourself and you're not like you know, try to be a ringleader here or anything. But kind of our holdup here is there were some pretty forward messages to this 12 year old. And I don't think you just have this realization that this is a conversation you want to have with somebody unless something was seen online. So I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here because it would be pretty, it would be pretty, it would be a step up if, you know, you just kind of said like, man, you know, I just want to try this. And there's nobody that suggests this to you. Cause you know, peer pressure on the internet's a huge thing. Like, I mean, dude, look at the Tide Pod challenge. You know, you have one person uh, eating a thing of bleach and then you know how many kids do it follow that stuff so it's not adults aren't immune to it either i'm not accusing you of looking for this type of stuff because like i said um it looks like adults that are following you you're following adults and you know even if we're 99 percent talking to adults it's that one percent that you know people can take advantage of right so i think there has been people that have tried to suggest this type of content to you like underage stuff because this isn't an accident you know people can you know when people turn gay they have an experience as a kid something happened to them and then now as an adult, they turn into this, right? So I th it's a similar thing, you know? You didn't just wake up one day, say, hey, I wanna talk to this 12 year old girl. I think what's happened is there's been some younger younger content try to be displayed to you. People try to send it your way. I'm not saying you've asked for it. I, I haven't seen a single message of you asking for any of that stuff. If, if I did, I, I don't think I'd be uh, here right now talking to you. But as for it just being sent, as for your eyes getting laid on it to maybe corrupt your mind, I, I, I think we all know what happened with that. What platforms have some idiots try to send this crap to you on or get you into this stuff? Because we know it's happened, but where? I, mean, I wish I could tell you. It would be Whisper, if anything. Okay. Telegram, I don't really use. Okay. Uh, like, talk to people. Fair enough. Did anybody on Whisper send you like an image or picture that you were, or an image or video that you were like, oh fuck, what is, I don't want this on my phone. I don't want to see this, get this, get this away from me. You might have at some point. I, there's nothing specific I can immediately come up with. Okay. But like I said, I, I haven't been on Whisper and I've been like two or three months now. Because the reason I'm bringing this up is because, you know, yesterday we were talking about, hey, uh, about interests. Okay. And, I know that there's been some times where, like, uh, it's been a conversation of, hey, you know, send a picture of your kinks. Okay. Know, stuff okay. like that. So that would have been years and years ago? Uh, yeah. Now that we kind of know the origin, how did it kind of progress? Did more people send you other images that were unwanted of younger ages as well? Like, you know. No, not really. 
So it was just that one time that that happened? Uh, like I said, I, I don't remember specific, any specific instances. I, you know, I kind of vaguely remember. Uh, it may have been one or two times, but I, it's not like it was just a constant. Right. I don't want to compare it to this, but I am anyway. When we try a new food that we've never tried before, you know, you get a craving for that food the next couple months, right? When they sent that image to you or images, did you ever, did you ever like get, start getting curious about it? As in like, hey, I want to kind of maybe start looking at this stuff or maybe look at pics of teen girls, stuff like that. <laughs> Not really. We're trying to get the benefit of the doubt that someone implanted right. these thoughts into your head. We don't want to think like, oh, this guy was a monster. We came in with the assumption of, okay, you know what? This was implanted in him. He's a sleeper agent. And when a minor came across him, he got he just got activated it wasn't his fault you know we were going to call you the winter soldier you know the, the belly soldier or something like that but you know, <laughs> the belly uh, soldier so like, a lot of the things, like this didn't come from that hold on i feel like this is blocking the way i ain't gonna lie to you i feel like it's too big too yeah my god there we go before so it kind of was like putting us on a thing of like oh man like is this stuff that he's just always been like? No, it's, like I said, it, it's not something that I've ever sought out. It's not like I just am sitting here thinking I would want an underage girl. I guess help us explain, like, why why, uh, why pursue it then? Um, I really don't know. I, I can say this, and it's going to sound like an excuse. I'm not exactly trying to make an excuse. No, we're asking genuinely, yeah. Um, but when I was... A teenager, I hooked up with a 26 year old woman that I met online. You know, it, it was a situation that it, at the time it didn't seem wrong. Dude, I totally get it. In me going through it, it didn't seem like it was wrong. Fair enough. Different you know, time back then. It, you yeah. know, this is new lingo, but like whenever you say cap, like that means that's right. tight. So, you know, cap. Right. That's, that's pretty cap. Yeah, it's, yeah. Be between that and the couple of instances where you know that has been yes. sent to me in the past, a troll. I don't know, and then <clears> these just, two are the ultimate trolls. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I wanna, I want that disrespectful side of him to come out. That's what I want. And I want this same guy. This is the same dude that got, I think, banned on on YouTube. I, I don't know if he got it back, but I hope he turned over a new leaf because you know he been out for like years ever since the EDP situation. P poachers. Hopefully he turned on the weeks. I heard he was prejudiced and said racial slurs and remarks about black people. Hey, yeah, I hope Jaden knows what he's doing dealing with this dude. Maybe he apologized and turned a new leaf. I don't know. I closed doors because I don't know. I'm assuming Jaden already checked him and you know had a discussion about having respect and all that. Maybe he turned over a new leaf. Hopefully he did. I like this dude like that, and then that's gonna turn me away from watching him. But he catches sick people like that too, just like uh Chris Hansen, uh Skeeter John. Just Skeeter Jean, whatever his name is, was it? Skeet Jean, you just been skeeted, something like that. Something like that, I don't know. But I hope he turned over a new leaf, because I feel like this is the same dude. And I hope he meet that guy, meet EDP again. That would be funny, like a like a reunited reunion. The scenarios going on, I was bored and just looking to talk online. And I, I, I am someone that just kind of plays into a conversation. If I think it might go a certain way, I kind of play into that way. Sure. How did the conversation go with that 16 year old girl a few months ago? That was on Whisper or wherever she was. Uh, that was just a quick little conversation. It didn't really even go anywhere. Did, did, did that get sexual? No. That, that didn't get sexual. sexual. Did uh, that 16 year old try to be suggestive to you? No. So, you know, with the way the algorithm works, it, when you kind of, I know you don't have Instagram too much, but you know, I'm sure your shit's loaded with Texas Ranger stuff. A little bit, yeah. Your profile photo, and you look at one thing. The younger ladies under 18 stuff, just kind of them talking to you, you talking to them. Has anybody, like on Instagram or a whisper, have they tried to suggest, like, hey, I have a group, do you want to join this, or anything like that? Any suggestions to that? No. No, I, I don't join any kind of groups or anything. Okay. So. Have you been invited to join one? Uh, I think there's been some on, like, some of the big group messages on Instagram. Well, just to be more transparent with you you know we're not law enforcement so you don't have to worry but we do have a private software that's been in the development for the last couple of years where individuals who get images or videos sent to them it bleeps up on our you know radar we don't know exactly what it is but we see that those explicit images have been sent and everything we did get a bleep from here and then compile that on with the fact that like you know you were talking to a 
sexually to a 12 year old girl we wanted to give you the benefit of that's the doubt disgusting. you know it's not a that's matter nasty. of fact of like if or it's it just ain't a matter no benefit of a doubt Gideon Gideon it ain't no benefit of a doubt I understand this dude is trolling but it ain't no benefit of a doubt he's a grown man he knew what he was doing he knew what he was doing sick dude disgusting very disgusting bro lock this dude up like lock him up you really need to check yourself man your mind cannot be wondering like that you need to check yourself in fact the when and just how much so that's why we're asking right. because we um we don't care about the people that receive it we care about the people that are sending it right. yeah and you know to cut through would you be willing to kind of go through your telegram for us and show us what's on there uh, i don't have it on here when'd you get rid of it uh earlier earlier well, would you be willing to sign back into it so if you like typed in telegram right now you know it wouldn't pop up or anything no. you mind if we look Can we also go through your gallery to see if there's anything on there? Okay. I might want to go into that. Uh, I don't mind if else on there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, Ryan. How many computers do you have in there in your thing? Okay, yeah. Can we mind if we go with you? Okay. Here, Alex, you can go in with him. I'll be right here. Cool, if I come in room? Yeah. Appreciate it. You stay up there, just chill here. Yeah, this is all I got. No, man, bro, you know? Yeah. Trying to, you know, get your life together, bro. I respect that, man, you know? Do you mind logging back into your telegram for us just, just to make sure? It's cool if we see. Yeah. Appreciate you. This is a... That's a lot more messages than I ever had. Telegram. Looks like uh, you got a message at one. Yeah, I had sent a message to Jerry. Yeah, uh... Yeah, Ryan, do you want to explain what was sent to Chloe and what Chloe sent to you? Again, a lot more messages than I know popped up. Um, Man, this dude really I, act like he ain't got no messages that he sent on his phone to a minor, to a kid, bro. You really are a weirdo, a certified weirdo, dude. Talking about, I don't know any of these messages that popped up. You, this is your phone. You, only you have these messages in your phone. You a grown man. I'm confused myself. How you confused is your phone. I'm honestly kind of scared because I It's don't your know. phone. I mean, I, I understand, like, dude. Like, I don't know what's going on. It's okay, it's okay. You can, right. Yeah, you do. I understand. You know? you know what we are talking about earlier? Like, peer pressure of the internet stuff. Yeah. Obviously, I glanced at those images that uh, were sent between Chloe and you, man. Like, it wasn't, the background was nothing from your house. This was recently, so it couldn't have been you that taken it, okay? But it came from somewhere, all right? But now's a chance to separate yourself from those other people, okay? Because I, I fully believe that you got peer yeah, pressure. I, no, I no, don't Ryan, be that kind of person. I don't, I know you don't, I know you don't. I know you don't. So, dude, I fully understand that peer pressure can happen, but um, all I care about, because look, I can't just go to wherever those images came from and just find that guy, but I can get pointed in the right direction. And we have people that can, all right? We're gonna leave you out of it. But now's your chance, dude. Where where did you get those images that you sent to Chloe and Chloe sent to you? Because they, they came from Whisper. They came from Whisper. Yeah. Okay. It's stuff that got sent. It, were you aware that was child? I, I be wasn't. be honest. No, no, I'm, bro, I'm, that is weird. Like, bro, that is weird. Appears like it. Okay. Did it look like underage kids having? You a sick best. You a sick fuck. You a sick motherfucker, bro. You a disgusting dude. Like, what's wrong with you? Talk to a woman your age, bro. There are plenty of damn women, dude. I swear. I swear. There are plenty of bitches you can talk to. That is weird. The exact picture. So I, I, I honestly... Ryan, did you get... Ryan, listen, just don't argue with me. I'm not here to argue with you. Did you get pictures and videos from Telegram where it looked like underage kids were having sex? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So that's so that picture wasn't 10 years ago that you got. That was probably more recently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that probably would have been part of this last couple of months. Okay. So what compelled you to start sending child porn to other people? I don't know. I well, try her, but what do you think came over you? Like try your best. I really don't know. <sighs> what do you think it could have been? Um, Are you religious? Kind of. Do you think maybe like demons made of took a hold i don't yeah what, what, i don't think so i, I don't want to like blame it on something like that well, i actually appreciate that but what, what do you think your best answer is for why you could have 
been compelled to send child to somebody. There was a boy in there that couldn't have been older than the age of seven years old That's with disgusting. something in his mouth that shouldn't have been in his mouth. That's disgusting, dude. You are a disgusting person, dude. You're and I was nasty. sent from you. You're a fucking nasty. You're a grown ass man. Well, we need your help because you're our best way to find, you know, we're, we're coming to you for help. I'm, I'm willing to help because that's not right. Okay. I, and we, we're glad you acknowledge that, you know? Well, first, help yourself. When's the first time you looked at child Because it wasn't a couple months ago. Oh I think we're God, dating back nasty. more than we can even track. I'm just asking. I, I'm, I'm jumping off a cliff here because I hope you're going to cash me on this. No, it, it, it would have been from Whisper some years ago. Okay. What, the first stint you've had it? Yeah. Okay. So how common was it for people to kind of send this to you and you trade with them? Not common. Once in a what? Once or twice a year. Like three years. I mean, it's what you're what you see there would be it. So, so what's the real reason you got rid of Telegram last night? Uh, it was today that I got rid of it, actually. Okay. Um, and it's because I was I was done. I, I wasn't gonna go try to meet. I'm just gonna be very honest with you, dude. Like that phone's gonna be hooked up to something and dumped. I'm sure, as you know, you can take it back at any time. We're not holding it from you, but I'm letting you know it's going to happen. It's not going to be from us. When you have to send some, something like that, or I'm just going to ask you this. Just be honest, because logically... I Police is coming. Sure. Yes, sir. Police is coming. No. Where'd you send that child from then? How did you send it to them? Like, where'd you send it from? How's it going? Yes, sir, boy. Big call the cops. That's what's up. Big call the cops. Big call the cops. Smart. Troll the fuck out you. Boy got trolled the whole time. I knew. See, I knew Gideon's a troll. I knew these these two are master trolls, bro. These two are the ultimate duos, bro. I swear to God, bro. He needs to a hey, reunite with EDP. I want to see these two reunite EDP. These two got some over EDP. I want to see it, bro. I really want to see it, bro. I you know what, man. These two, oh my God, they need they just need to meet EDP again. Confront this man. Troll them. The two duos, double the trouble, you know. But I'm glad. I'm I'm glad that they. Call the cops already. They already had the cops already. One step. Smart. Ten steps ahead. I like these people. Good people. Nasty well, that was bitch. disgusting. I've never seen something like that ever. Yeah. That's, uh, Nasty disgusting bitch. For sure. Nasty oh my bitch. gosh. My heart. I don't know if you saw my face, Eric, but my heart dropped when I saw it. It Nasty was on my fuck. And we didn't even scroll up that much. No. You're actually f***ing disgusting, you f***ing weirdo. <laughs> They're not your friends. Yeah, they trolled the fuck out you. You got trolled the shit out of. They ain't your damn friend. Nasty weirdo. Disgusting ass. This dude was a weirdo. Nah, let me let me leave my camera right here. Never mind. Can I talk to y'all over here? Absolutely. You freak, you're going to jail. Hey, his phone's over there in airplane mode. Y'all want to talk to him? I'm talking to him real quick. Woo! Don't lock your ass up. Don't lock that ass up. You nasty, sick motherfucker. You nasty, sick bitch. You nasty, sick bitch. You nasty, sick bitch. Nasty motherfucker. You orchestrated the uh we we did. Yeah. yeah, the chats are out of order, but we can show you on the phone. But we we catch pedos nationwide. So Ryan was messaging who we thought was a 12-year-old girl. Okay. And he he didn't show up at the meeting spot, but he arranged the meeting and everything for uh, oral sex at McLean Park today. When we were talking to him, he told us that he's been sent child before. Look like people as young as the age of seven years old. Okay. And he did admit to uh, distributing it to that person. Based off of what y'all described, we can probably do online solicitation of a minor. Yep. Can y'all wait over here while we finish up with him? Yes. yes sir. Let, me, let me let you hold on to this. Thank you so much, officer. Yeah, sir, and his phone is right there in airplane mode already. Bro, that was so fucking disgusting, bro. Dude, yeah, so man, weird, that was a weirdo. Uh, Dude, was a disgusting I never want to actually see it. Yeah, it's uh, very unpleasant. Oh my gosh. Bro, I want every single person in his place to know he's a Creep. Somebody oh, told me his neighbors yeah. wouldn't care too. I'm so much. see, I'm so glad that Jideon got this on stream, dude. This is gonna set worldwide records that you're being watched. You know, like I like that. I, I like that. We need more and more people like him, bro. It's it's not enough people like him. We need we need people like that. We need people like these two. We know Chris Hansen is the OG, the first one that ever did it. Are you the um owner of this apartment complex? Come on, bro. You're being too nice. Come on, dog. That's my neighbor, right? That's your neighbor? Yeah, he has child porn on his phone. Uh, uh, who are you, sir? Uh, I'm Alex Rosen. And I'm, uh, Gideon. Okay, I'm sorry. Ah. I'm my, my parole officer. Are, are you a sex offender also, or? Who are you? Um, we're an, organi we're an organization called, um, MAP Intervention. You want to talk to him, Mr. Davis? Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can talk to him. Yes, sir. Hi, is, is uh, you're you're the guy, you're the lady overlooking the sex offenders, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Wait, so this is a sex offenders place? Sir, you, what, what is it? Wait, you're a sex on? offender? So you you talking to him? Right. Ma'am, is the man that called you a sex offender? Sir, I am a parole officer. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get your, what was your name again, sir? No. Yes. That's <laughs> it. Aggravated the soul. Wait, hold on. He is the asset. He is the asset. Wait, aggressive. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are there a certain places for pedos? Hold on. We're an organization called a, um, MAP He's like, oh, we'll call the police trying to act like you wasn't doing it to you fucking weirdo. You want to talk to him, Mr. David? You want to yeah, talk to him, sure. Mr. David? Acting yeah. like you innocent. You ain't innocent, you nasty shit. Oh my uh, God, I, I, you I, I a widow. So yes. these are play. Damn, it's crazy. Sure. Hi, is, is uh, you're you're the guy, you're the lady overlooking the sex offenders, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Wait, so this is a sex offenders place? Sir, are you, what, what is it? Wait, you're a sex on? offender? So you you talking to him? Right. Ma'am, is the man that called you a sex offender? Sir. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get your. What was your name again, sir? No. Yes. That's him. It is him. Uh, nah, that's crazy. Aggravated. 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 Sexual. Nasty bitch. That's all I need to know. Nasty. They got a the soul of an eight year old girl. That's fucked up. That is disgusting, dude. That is disgusting. That is very disgusting, dude. That is crazy. That's disgusting. You are... You just as bad as the last dude. You just as bad as the other dude. You try to come over here and act all innocent. Oh, is that his parole officer? Or yours? That's yours. That's yours. You don't want to answer. It's yours. Is this a sex offender building? Dude, yeah, I didn't see him on the registry. Bro, he is. Really? Didn't, nothing came up on Truth Finder. He's a sex offender? Yeah, god damn it, dude. Oh, f you bitch. Hey, hey, hey. My bad. Freedom of speech, though. Freedom of speech. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just calm down, because Bumble and PD be tripping sometimes. It's not damn. hard being him. Bro, he's going to get charged with the same stuff again. Child. And meeting and solicitation of a minor. He has both on his thing. Bro, we literally have the gold mine right here. Let's just go and knock on every door and be like, yeah. we have child hugs. Bro. <laughs> 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 I'm bad about that outburst. I just saw something yeah. I didn't want to see. Oh, I got you. I, I apologize, yeah, truly. We got a job to do. So y'all have been like the catfishes or whatever? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we were posing as a 12-year-old <laughs> girl. Uh, hey, hey, let, let yeah, us. Well, no, we're not, we're not, we're not, we know. We, so, I mean, this is just for our documentation, yeah, that's all. Y'all are free to record whatever. I mean, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna get close enough. Yeah, just kind of give him some space. That booty hole about to get destroyed again. I don't know about the the Diddy part, but it's gonna be more than they gonna listen. The inmates are gonna do more than do that. They're gonna just, you know what I'm saying? Once they hear about what this man did, that's it for him, bro. Yo, my man, has Real anyone talk. ever said you look like Cooper Cup? What about Chase Bunninger? Oh, shit. No, he do look like somebody. That's, bro, Chad, this is literally his twin. Yo, the Diddy party's going. Oh, yeah, how old are y'all? Uh, You're 16? Oh, yeah, you should definitely go inside this house. Can I say something to the stream? Yeah, well, nothing band worthy. I know. All right, what are you going to say? Jesus loves you. Give your life to God. My man. That's what's up. Of course. I just saw like a Zello listing for like a new place in there. Is there any way I can um, move in? Oh, hell, these people are in there too. You got to be a SA offender too. If you living in there, if you living in there, it's crazy. So there are certain places, certain areas for people like that, but they cannot be in other areas because they were, that's disgusting. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Move them by the front door. My bad. I just saw like a Zello listing. I'm guessing someone like got evicted or something. Do you guys know about the parties that Ryan was throwing inside of his house? Allegedly, there was over 300 bottles of baby oil. Not a thousand, but you know, still 300 is quite a lot. Did alert. How you doing, detective? 
Ah, I talked to. Is it Alex? Yeah, that's Alex. Okay. Y'all are gonna head up to the station. I'm gonna talk to y'all real quick up there. Yes, sir. I just had a question. Is this a uh, sex offenders household? I don't know what that is. I know it's some sort of facility, but I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing yeah. it probably is. Yeah. I think it was a Pokemon tournament going on in there, and they were trading <laughs> cards. But instead of PC Pokemon cards, I think they were selling trading CP. If you know what I mean. Gotcha. Cool. But we'll see at the station. Yep. You playing around in the snow? <laughs> What does that mean? I'll take you to what does that You don't mean? want to know, Jana. You don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, I got you. All right. It's bigger than black and white on three. One, two, three. No. Okay, y'all. We're going inside the police station now. Um, we're going to go meet up with the sergeant, see what's going to happen. Boy. Sex offender registration sign in. Is Ooh. Is anyone else in the bathroom? No. Twitch. No one else except for my friends in here. He was a kid, bro. You can tell they just they trolls. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. See, Gideon, people like Gideon and uh, the other dude, they know when to have fun, bro. That's that's called having that inner child, you know. But no, but still knowing when to take a certain situation like this very seriously. Well, any sit, just, but you know what I mean. But knowing how to be mature when it comes to serious situations. You're gonna get banned. Chat, no one else except for Alex was in the bathroom. Alex on his way? He's taking a massive dump right now. Is he here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bro, these are always like so depressing when you come into SVU. It's because you're like for little kids that get abused. Oh, this is for SVU? Yeah, they get abused. So it's always, dude, it's like always so depressing to see all this stuff because it's to make the kids more comfortable, like come out of their shell and talk about what happened. Oh my god. That's fucked up. That is... I thought it was just like a waiting room and they have like kids stuff. No. God, you know, I should have put two two together, man. I was too reliant on True Finder and I didn't, I didn't check the registry. I don't know what I should have done. Living in some room right across from the probation place? Of course. You should have known. <laughs> when you told that dude that came out, like, oh, sir, your neighbor has child. Phone and the neighbor wasn't like, oh my god, when he was like, yeah, this is probation officer. Like, <laughs> like, dude, I should have known. Should have known. <laughs> we were just trying to find him. Go on the registry. So you see all the dots scattered around Beaumont, right? Like one guy here, one guy here. Yeah. Next street. Dot 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 dot. Oh, so that was the house we were at. Yeah. So that's where all of them live. Well, look how <laughs> many predators are in that house. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. They all live in there. And those two females that came out, they didn't want to say nothing. They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. They weirdos, bro. It's crazy, bro. You cannot be trusted, bro. All in one pile. All you need is a damn RPG. Put them all in one, in, in, in one island. I swear to God. Let me do that work. I wish God gave me that permission. I'm going to be real. But... That's, you know, that's God's call, you know? That's his call. That's crazy, bro. Yes, that's, that's him. Robert Lee Hawkins. Oh my gosh, he was arrested. Aggravated How assault. Of an eight-year-old girl? <gasps> that's disgusting. Fake them. <laughs> <gasps> bro, I could just imagine, like, bro, I, I could just imagine when he's walking up and we're like, sir, he has child, he has child that's it. That's all he has. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> They're trolling this How is his risk level low? Dude, it's such when he got uh, an eight-year-old girl. Uh, There's two. Oh my. Nah. Indecency with an eleven-year-old. Uh, he's not in jail right now. Is dude? This what a joke. Look at all these mug shots. Dude, this is uh, this this, and this really shows America don't care about holding people accountable. Put these people in prison. What they doing out here? What they doing in the house or out here in the streets? Like, why are they not locked up behind bars, bro? Why are they still in the house? Why are they even still walking? No, that's that's crazy. That is wild, bro. You really got to be careful. You told you don't know who doing what, bro. That's like, yeah. You want to look at the other sex offenders? I mean, I don't really want to look at sex offenders, but yeah. We can, we can. Do you think he's the guy that opened the door for us? Six-year-old female, bro. A six-year-old? Boy, that is crazy. That's the dude that opened the door for him, weirdo. 
He was a, he tried to act like, oh, what's going on, guys? You know what you were doing, shit. You know damn well what's going on. They try, and it's crazy. These people try to act so normal. That's the scary part. They trying to act so normal. Give me an RPG right now. Real talk, bro. This is really low key making me mad. This is really making me mad that these people don't deserve to even be in no house. Don't need to be walking the streets at all. They really need to be locked up. Matter of fact, under the prison. Under the damn prison. They don't even need to be with regular inmates. Because those inmates will tear their ass up. Matter of fact, these people don't need to even breathe the same air. I'm going to keep it a buck with you, dude. In the early video when he was opening up the door and walking out, that was him. That is crazy. Trying to act like, oh, what's going on here, guys? Trying to act like you normal or something, boy. Trying to act like you ain't got nothing to do with this weirdo. Old. Wow. Wrong yeah. ass. Yeah. Uh, both of us? Or just uh, right. Okay. Yeah, when we're interviewing with the detectives, like, we definitely can't be recording that, so. I just got done talking to the detective. It was cool. I was in, like, one of those uh, JCS rooms, you know? It's like the interrogation room where like they have the camera up at the top and everything. Like I don't know why, I was just nervous, but he said justice is gonna be served. All right, you ready? Oh, yes, sir. Everybody in the chat was saying W Detective. That's it for this reaction video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one.